All right, last night we finished assembling our hexcopter right here and went ahead and did a test flight here inside the shop just to try and get it up into a hover. And that was successful and I managed to get it up into a hover. It was a little bit twitchy. And so I went ahead and made some adjustments to the pids for the pitch and roll and recalibrated the accelerometers. And I did a couple more hovers last night inside the shop and was able to get it into a nice stable hover. So um, I didn't want to fly it in the dark last night because if, if I lost it, it would have been impossible to find. So, But uh, we have some great flying weather today out here in the Pacific Northwest. So we're going to go ahead and fire this hexcopter up, take advantage of the nice weather, and run it outside. So today what we're going to do is we're going to test a few things. Um, I'm going to take it outside in manual mode and fly it around just a little bit just to make sure everything's working the, the way that it should. And uh, once I'm confident that uh, all the hardware is working properly, we'll go ahead and put it in altitude hold mode. And what that does is it uses the uh, internal barometer inside the flight controller to attempt to maintain an even altitude. Now I've used some closed cell phone and a few other things to protect that. So hopefully the gusts of wind that we got going on outside aren't, uh, aren't gonna affect our altitude too much. Then the next mode that we're going to test is the GPS mode. And what that does is that actually holds the copter in position based on GPS. So as soon as I enable that, the wind shouldn't affect it. It should stay in a relatively constant position regardless of the wind. And then the final thing that we're going to test is the failsafe, the return to launch feature. Now what that is, uh, there's several ways that this can be triggered, but what I've got set up here since we're just flying manually today um, is I'm going to turn off my transmitter. And when the copter sees the loss of the signal from the transmitter, it'll, it'll go into a failsafe mode and it'll ascend and then it'll come to where it took off from, land and shut itself off. And I've already tested this on the bench and it did work properly on the bench, but as we all know, uh, things don't always go according to plan. So definitely want to test it outside and make sure that it's actually going to work. The, uh, I, I do have the ability to take control again if, it, uh, if it's not doing what I want it to, but. We'll just leave, hopefully we'll leave the controller off and it'll land and, and disarm itself right where it took off from. So, so all right, let's go ahead and fire this thing up and get the testing done. Okay, right now we have it in uh, just uh, manual stabilize mode. So that means that I'm just controlling the throttle completely manually. Okay, next we'll put it in altitude hold mode. So now it's uh, not attempting to maintain its position at all, but it is maintaining its altitude based on the barometer. And that does seem to be working pretty well. I'm not having to make any adjustments to the throttle at all, even with the bit of wind that we got going on here. Alright, so next we'll go ahead and put it in GPS mode. Alright, now we've just enabled GPS mode. So I have my hands completely off the sticks right now, and even with the bit of wind that we got going on, it's hovering in a nice steady position. You can see right here, my hands are off the sticks. Now 
And we do have some gusty wind out here. I'd say uh, probably 15 mile an hour gusts or so. So that's good, that's perfect. I'm not having to make any adjustments and it's really within about a 10 foot diameter bubble, it's holding itself pretty good. Compensating for the wind nicely. Okay, the last thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna turn off the controller and we're gonna let it do its return to launch. All right, the controller is off. As you can see, the copter's ascended. Now it's returning to the middle of the lawn where it originally took off. Should go ahead and land and disarm itself without any problem. Perfect. And as you can see, my controller's still off here. I haven't, haven't turned it back on. That was all automated. So, good. All of our tests were successful. We still got a bit of battery life left, so we'll go ahead and get some more flight in. Okay, we'll go ahead and send it back to the barn. So that's it for today, a, a su successful outdoor flight. So this is its first outdoor flight and we had no problems at all. So I uh, actually really like the way that this thing flew. I will, uh, over the coming weeks, I'll go ahead and add the GoPro to the gimbal and set up the video transmitter and the, and the uh, VR goggles. And I'll be sure to upload some more videos as I work through this project.